Hey guys, it's Wime, and I am worth your time, and welcome to another Halo 4 video with your host, myself, Wime. And this episode, we have a special guest, and her name is Sarah. You will not be able to hear her because she's just playing in this game with me. That's right, guys. I have a girl, a girl gamer friend. That's what I'm going to call it, a girl gamer friend. And she helps me out a lot in this clip. She helps me uh, weaken a lot of people, and uh, she gets a lot of assists, and she got pretty mad over it, but I will still take it because I got the kills. Ha 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 ha! Anyways, uh, this gameplay was on Ragnarok, or the old Halo 3 Valhalla, and uh, I'm going to give you a few tips before I go on into some other topics uh, about this gameplay to maybe help your guys' game out. And I want to help you guys out as much as I can, and uh, that's what I'm going to do. So before I give you a couple tips, I want to briefly explain what happens in this gameplay. Uh, my girlfriend and I decided to play Halo because we love Halo and that's just how awesome we are. So uh, this is one of my favorite maps, so it made me even more happy. But I, go, I get a running riot as well as a killing frenzy and I was very close to a second running riot. That's right guys, two running riots in one match. Uh, I think I was one or two kills off the second one before I got killed by a warthog, and I was pretty depressed. But I got two triple kills as well in this game, and uh, I want to give you guys some tips. Uh, I usually do pretty good in most games. I don't want to be too obnoxious or not obnoxious, but uh, I don't want to boast my own boat. But I got uh, pretty good in most of my Halo games, and the biggest secret I'm gonna tell you guys. And be ready. Are you guys ready? The biggest secret in Halo, well, other than having good aim, is to be patient and use a long-range weapon and pick people off, especially in Big Team Battle, which is this game right here, Big Team Battle. Uh, right now, obviously, I'm not doing it. I'm in the Warthog, but once I die in the Warthog, you are going to see what I do. So uh, I go to the, uh, the right side of this map once I respawn. And uh, you're going to see me pull out a DMR. And what I do is I just pick people off. And I think there's three or four of our teammates over there. And with three or four of our teammates just shooting people, they just kept boosting to the center of the map. They had no idea where we were. And honestly, with three or four DMRs shooting people, you kill them so quick. And you can build up your kills pretty quick, guys. And once you get good at aim, uh, it takes a lot of practice, a lot of... You got to play Halo a lot. Uh... I recommend putting the ammo uh, for your loadout on your Halo class because you do run out of ammo pretty quick and then you're going to have to charge in and you're most likely going to die and lose your streak. Uh, so I do recommend that once you do get better. But as you can see, I set up over here by this turret and the reason I do that is because you have very good view on uh, all the areas they can come to the center of the map. You got the right side here through the water or they can boost out towards the center of the map. The only way they can sneak past you is to go to the ver their right side of the map. Oh, there's a nice stick right there. Stuck that gunner. Uh, the only way they can sneak past you from over by this turret is to see way over there as you're shooting, shooting those guys. They can go in that little cave and they can sneak past. But you have a pretty good uh, view of the map from this turret area. So I recommend it. Another reason I recommend this area uh, when you're on this side of the map uh, is once they do find you or they start shooting you, you can easily just walk backwards. You have lots of cover until your shields recover. Your teammates come and help you. And then you can poke back out and kill those guys who try to kill you. So I do recommend this area, especially when you spawn on the side of the map. I don't know, what's the beach side of the map as your home base. And you can just rack up a lot of kills. And for this kind of map, I do recommend the DMR. I love DMR and battle rifle they both have their pros and cons but dmr by far the better weapon for a longer range uh, map and i like to use my battle rifle for shorter range another tip i can give you guys is see this turret i'm uh holding right now i did not know this i never had used turrets before because i never thought they were that good and you walk really slow and people can pick you off easily but man i picked this turret up this is i think the first time because i ran out of ammo and I could not believe how good it was. Uh, it weakens people, kills them really fast, and it has really good aim for even longer distance. You can see me pick off a few people with it. 
but I was very surprised at how well the turret is. But I think the turret only works well with if you're playing a subpar team, which this team obviously was. There's my triple kill right there. I was pretty close to the overkill. But yeah, when you're playing a subpar team, it's pretty good, the turret. But if you're playing a better team, they can easily pick you off with DMRs, and I do not recommend it in those games. So if you see a bunch of level 130s, do not use the turret. Uh, do not detach it. And if you must use the turret, detach it, because if you're just sitting on the turret over there where it is, everyone can see you, and you're going to die within two seconds. Uh, so those are my tips for this uh, mini episode of, I guess, Halo Tips with Wime. And make sure you guys practice with your DMR, especially long range. Uh, I find most people in this game, all they do is charge. Oh, uh, there goes my uh, running riot. I got killed there. But, uh, or sorry, I guess my, uh, what's after running riot? Rampage. I was pretty close to it. But anyways, as I get distracted, as I always get distracted, I find a lot of people just like to charge in, and that is when you die a lot. And I tend to charge in a lot when I start playing this game after a couple hours or it gets late at night and I get tired. I will start doing that and my KD will go down pretty fast. And this is a pretty big fail on that guy. But uh, yeah, so I recommend DMR, and especially on longer range maps, and stay off to the side where you get a good view on the enemy. And... You can just pick them off, and I trust me, guys, you have to be patient in this game. Work with your teammates, and you will build up your spree. And even if your other teammates get the kills around you, uh, you're still getting assists and getting the points, and that's what matters. It's a team game, guys. And, yeah. So, uh, th those are my, that's finally my final Halo tips for this episode. I'm not going to mention any more. I'm sure I'll mention a few every episode. But uh, I want to mention one other quick thing about my personal life. Uh, we got a few more minutes left in this video, so I'm going to try to be somewhat quick. But uh, beginning of June, I have to go for surgery on my wrist, which kind of sucks. But I uh, have a ganglion cyst in there, and it's been bugging me for a while. I can't golf or play tennis or soccer. Well, I can play soccer. But uh, I like to play sports, and I have not been able to play sports uh, because it's been bothering me. And I can't really exercise or do push-ups or anything like that because this cyst is like pushing on my nerves and it's just been bothering me. So I finally went to the doctors and they're just going to, since I've had it for a few years and it hasn't gone away, they're going to do surgery on it. And I thought it was going to be a simple surgery, like a couple day recovery time, but apparently your wrist is actually one of the most complicated areas to do surgery on in your body. And it's going to be actually pretty invasive, the surgery, because they have to move your tendons uh, and they have to dig around and cut around, like cut out a lot of the ganglion because it's a pretty large one. And then they have to find the root and tie it up. So it's actually pretty invasive for your wrist. So I would not be able to work for like probably a couple weeks. I'll be off work, and I won't be able to move my wrist really for two to four weeks, maybe even longer. It just depends how the surgery goes. And as long as they don't. Uh, hit any nerves or cut any nerves by accident because that could be really bad then I'll lose feeling in my hand possibly uh, that's pretty rare so I'm not too worried about that but what I am worried about is I'm not going to be able to play video games for a while uh, so the beginning of June probably the month of June I will probably be out of commission from video games I'm assuming oh there's my second killing frenzy of the match pretty epic so um, pretty disappointed there because I love making videos for you guys and so what I'm gonna try to do since I'm gonna be off for a month uh, hopefully Zack Attack will upload some videos but can't trust that guy since he's way out west in uh, western Canada and yeah so he's too busy to make videos so I'm gonna try to make a few videos before I have my surgery and stockpile them in my computer so when I do have surgery I'm gonna try to upload uh, one or two weeks depending how many I make beforehand so that's my plan, and you never know guys, it could even be only uh, a couple weeks and I'll be back to uh, playing video games, which is what I'm hoping, but I honestly have no clue, and I don't know anyone who's really had, or close to me that's had uh, surgery on a ganglion cyst, I know a lot of people get those, uh, so I just don't know what to expect, so I'm just going off by what I read online and what my doctor says, but <clears throat> I am pretty... Uh, pretty pro at handling pain I've gone through a lot of things in my life and I'm pretty sure I can deal with this no problem 
And as this video ends, I just want to do one last final quick uh, tip in Halo is the ghost is really awesome. And the biggest mistake I see people do with the ghost is they uh, they try to splatter people. And I do not recommend that because everyone in this game equips sticky grenades and you will get boarded or someone throws a sticky grenade at you. So that's the end of the match. And as you're about to see, I went... 33 and 4 guys with 2 triple kills, a running riot, and uh, killing frenzy, almost 2 running riots. Um, so yeah, so the next video is going to be, hopefully, uh, another Halo video or something, or Minecraft before Channel of the Week. If not, the next video will be Channel of the Week. So uh, thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.